Next topic, dear colleagues, is blood supply to the intestinum minor and intestinum major. So again, I use the scenes, systems, and I shall find now arterias of small intestine of uh, this scene. Maybe small intestine we shall hide this way. So it's better seen the details of branching of each artery and we already know that aorta abdominalis, aorta abdominalis is divided not not is divided excuse me aorta abdominalis has uh, parietal branches and it has visceral branches and we already know about first unpaired visceral branch celiac trunk and now second and third branches mesenterica arteria mesenterica superior and here arteria mesenterica inferior here it is arteria mesenterica inferior and uh, anteria mesenterica superior let's try to find this artery from different points of view from right side from left side from anterior view surely it's quite good seen that arteria mesenterica superior is longer is larger in diameter and it has a greater amount of the branchlet so let's begin the read information about arteria mesenteric superior the superior mesenteric artery is a large blood vessel which arises from the anterior surface of aorta a little lower than celiac trunk one to three centimeter behind the pancreas so let's find the real visual information of this fact so this is from right side of pink color we see arteria mesenterica superior and this is celiac trunk so really they appears quite close one to another but superiorly is located celiac trunk and uh, about the pancreas let's find the pancreas Here it is. So we can see that pancreas hide one portion of arteria mesenterica superior. 
if we turn our model this way we can see that arterium is enterica superior runs posteriorly to the pancreas let's continue read information about arterium is enterica superior emerging from under the inferior margin of pancreas here it is inferior margin of pancreas the superior mesenteric artery descends to the right so really this direction is to the right together with the superior mesenteric vein which runs on the right side of mesenteric artery it goes along the anterior surface of the horizontal ascending duodenum and crosses E transversely immediately after duodenal yeunal flexure so let us try to remove the small intestine and to find duodenum itself here it is let's remember that here it is superior part of the adenum here it is descending part of the adenum here it is horizontal part of the adenum and this is ascending part of the adenum so there are four parts of the adenum usually the border between horizontal and ascending part is quite smooth it isn't good seen in some individuals and now let's return to information together with the superior mesenteric vein which runs on the right side of mesenteric artery so mesenteric vein also will be good to find vena mesenterica superior here it is we already know that it runs from right side to arteria mesenterica superior and they together are directed downwards and to the right let's read together with superior mesenteric vein which runs on the right side of mesenteric artery now we can see it it goes along the anterior surface of the horizontal or ascending duodenum and crosses it transversely immediately after the duodena yeunal flexure so here it is this place arterium mesenterica superior crosses the horizontal part of duodenum and this is quite close to duodena yeunal flexure here it is duodena yeunal flexure yeunum now is cutted we 
have removed it because it misses us to see in details each small structure but the relationships between pancreas between horizontal portion of duodenum and arteria mesenterica superior now is quite good seen after reaching the root of the mesentery of small intestine the superior mesenteric artery goes between the leaves of mesentery and forms an arch convex to the left and then reaches the right iliac fossa this arch convex to the left here it is and now we know that the main portion of arteria mesenterica superior runs between two leaves of mesentery and it reaches this portion of right iliac fossa so these distal parts of arteria mesenterica superior are located in right iliac fossa I use the skeleton and we can see that this is ilium right iliac fossa and exactly here the superior mesenteric artery disappears as single blood vessel let's continue read information on its way the superior mesenteric artery supplies the following intestinal regions which its branches with its branches the small intestine except for the superior section of the duodenum the cecum and the appendix the ascending colon and part of transverse colon very important information what is region of blood supply of intestine let us demonstrate the colon or intestinum crassum I'd like to remember you that here it is the cecum cecum with the appendix here it is the colon ascendance here it is colon transversum here it is colon descendence and then sigmoid portion of colon colon sigmoidum and uh, intestinum crassum finishes with the rectum this is the distal portion of uh, alimentary tract the rectum and uh, the region of vascularization of superior mesenteric artery is practically all small intestine which isn't seen in this picture but we can return it
here it is small intestine in transparent way of view and we can make it visible so practically all small intestine is vascularized by arteria mesenterica superior all except small portion of duodenum par superior duodeni and practically all other parts of small intestine supplied by the arteria mesenterica superior and uh, what about the intestinum crassum we can say that secum with appendix colon ascendance and one half of colon transversum they are supplied by arteria mesenterica superior and now I propose change the scene let us use another scene it calls arterias of large intestine good example let us now colorize inferior mesenteric artery this way and superior mesenteric artery this way oh excuse me I was wrong I want to colorize superior mesenteric artery. Okay. And now let's try to understand the main branches for large intestine of both this artery. So prolongation of arteria mesenterica superior is this vessel the vessel for I shall delete it for appendix it's quite difficult to click on small structure I shall make some magnification I can do this but you can see really that here it is appendix and this is arteria appendicularis so arteria appendicularis is a really prolongation of arteria mesenterica superior its most distal portion of arteria mesenterica superior then this is why why we can't see oh. this is arteria iliocolica arteria iliocolica it divides into some branches for colon ascendance and branch for the place of colon ascendance becomes colon transversum so iliocolic artery is responsible for blood supplying to the colon ascendance then 
right colic artery arteria colica dextra it also supplies colon ascendance and the place of colon ascendance becomes colon transversum now about colon excuse me about arteria mesenteric inferior here it is arteria mesenteric inferior has a branch left colic artery arteria colica sinistra which supplies colon descendants and uh, it is difficult to see but we shall try to find it this branch middle colic artery arteria colica media from uh, arteria mesenterica superior I want to hide colon so it's better seen all the arterial branches now quite important thing that this place which is not colorized now it is anastomosis between left colic artery and middle colic artery and we can say more that this is anastomosis between inferior mesenteric artery and superior mesenteric artery such kind of anastomosis are quite important for providing instant blood supply to different portions of the organs so this anastomosis have author's name as arch of riolani in russian we say riolanova duga arch of riolan or riolani riolani's arch so please remember that riolani's arch is anastomosis between superior and inferior mesenteric arteries so it helps to use blood from both these sources when it's necessary thank you